How can we, as surgeons, walk the tightrope of being part of the dominant culture while working to change the system and not alienate those in the majority? One cannot generalize the anger towards the majority from which the misogynist commentator comes. Chetan Sophia, a male surgeon who commented on how women surgeons continue to be treated as second-class surgeons. In today's world, I am not going to generalize and say that women are better surgeons. But the fact that there are studies that confirm this, I would call it equivalent. As we all know, women are weak when it comes to stress and tension in difficult situations. So if you leave them, they run away, it's built in. And what are the other implications of these attitudes coming from a surgeon? Is a patient really treated as an equal to his male colleagues in the eyes of that surgeon? That's debatable. Such comments may harden women, turning them into male detractors. But I urge those there to reconsider their position. Certainly, in orthopedic surgery, the concept of the female surgeon was once considered radical, but today it is much less so. Thank God I have just finished the course of meditation, because this kind of misogynist vitriol certainly makes the blood boil. But instead, my first instinct was to burst out laughing. I'm 100 sure you prefer a male surgeon for your own operation. Kevin, Calm was founded in 2004 by Dr. Kevin Putt and is the leading platform on the internet where doctors, advanced students, nurses, medical students and patients share their views and tell their stories. After sharing this comment, I was relieved by the words of my male and female colleagues who spoke out against this story. 